Well, I perceive um, automation and an RPA as a core pillars actually of, of digital transformation. This is something that is uh, inevitably linked with. So if we, think we'll, if we think about digital transformation, so automation, automating tasks, automation workload is something that, we, that comes to mind in the first place. Uh, and even if we think about, um, frankly for me, robotics as RPA and automations are not different, uh, different concepts. For me, RPA is one of branches, one of methods of automation, which is a, a broader concept. So if we think today about digital transformation of the organization, you cannot think about both. Uh, <clears throat> frankly, I believe that automation uh, should be followed by democratization of IT or democratization of, uh, as such. So that we, we should give the power, we should give the tools and ability to automate to individual units of the organization, individual areas, because when <clears throat> they know best about the, the challenges, about the, the concerns, about the workload that they have, about the areas they want to automate, and what they need actually, they need ag agility. So they need to have it at their hands rather than being um, dependent on a centralized unit or a centralized uh, IT area, which is, uh, which, you know, is, is based on limited resources. Nevertheless, uh, I think and that should be uh, a central law in the organization just taking care of the maybe technology stack or the platform of automations just to ensure that these different tools that we think as automations in different organizations are not contradictory or they do not have you know overlapping functionalities but also serve as a kind of uh, supporting role uh, to different uh, units in the company. But I'm a strong believer of this democratization of automations happening uh, in individual uh, units. And this is a very deep concern and very big challenge because at the end of the day if we think about um, development of automations long term definitely research show that there will be uh, there will be professions that will simply disappear due to, due to automations. Nevertheless um, if we want to keep this stability in the organization once implementing automations and robotics, we have to take care of people concerned in how they adopt the technology. So they do not perceive, uh, for example, RPA and robotics as a method of replacing them, but rather to, as, a, as a tool, as a means to um, increase quality, eliminate errors to the humans being made, but also to improve their work and to eliminate repetitive, you know, repetitive and dull tasks they have, uh, so to move people to, uh, to other tasks which are you know, more um, uh, expert-based and require more expert knowledge. This is how we should transform uh, the, the concept of, uh, of automations and, and robotics in the organization, just to show people that this is a method to improve their work and to um, use their knowledge better rather than simply replacing what they do today. Um, BNP Paribas <coughs> as a group globally has a big focus on transformation, digital transformation worldwide. Here operating as a baggage at BNP Paribas, we're also doing an advanced transformation and digital transformation program where we are implementing different kinds of automations. One of those is, uh, is robotics, which uh, we as a bank on Polish market implemented on a large scale, I think as the very first bank in Poland, uh, starting from the operations area. So operations is a perfect field for, for robotics, when you have in different, uh, different areas uh, repetitive tasks, uh, when robotics plays a very, uh, very good role. So this is our strong focus, I think our strong competences, the robotics that we implement, the robots that we build, but also uh, the organization which is supporting this. So we created a robotic center of excellence, which we'll also discuss today. That's why, uh, and this is also this example of democratization of IT in operations. So operations as a division is totally capable itself 
of uh, developing robots and building federal automations themselves uh, without involving IT.